back to all about the Smokies. Today's video, we're going to try out Long John Silvers. No, not really. Uh, we are going to Boss Hogs Barbecue Shack, though. It's time for dinner. Today's video is being brought to you by Dusty's Adventures and Mark and Cindy Hit. They have both joined All About the Smokies at the sponsorship level on YouTube. Thank you so much for sponsoring this video. Now, let's get started. I like this truck on the outside. They've got a smoker shaped as a hog. It's, it's a pretty nice wrap. Oh, awaiting you outside is a Bigfoot of sorts. They also have a Marble Slab Creamery right next door. Alright, there is the menu. Alright, so this is how it's served. It's actually all chopped up, which I was kind of surprised about. Looks like they have some special seasoning on top. There is the macaroni and cheese, mashed potatoes, and the roll. Alright, let's give it a shot. So seasoning is almost like that. Like a salt. Got a little bit of flavor to it. It's pretty good. I definitely like both, both of the meats. Let's try the mac and cheese. Looks like they put that same seasoning on top of the mac and cheese. It's fine. And the mashed potatoes. They're good. Now, I say they're good to me. They kind of have like a, an instant taste to them, which I like, but I'm not saying they are. I'm just saying they kind of have that, that, that flavor to them. Let's try this roll. Very good. Soft. So. Alright. I'm gonna finish eating here. In just a minute, I'll let you know what I think. So I was able to get a two meat combo. So I was able to choose the brisket and the pork. And it came with two sides. So two meats, two sides, and a roll for $17.99. Alright, so that was Boss Hogs Barbecue Shack here in Pigeon Forge. Um, it was good. It was good. The the I added some barbecue sauce to the meat. And that certainly helped it. Their house barbecue sauce tasted a little too mustardy for me, but they had another one on the table, like a classic barbecue, and it was good. Um, so that was that was good. I would eat the barbecue again. The sides were just okay. Um, nothing nothing exciting. They were just kind of kind of bland. Um, roll was excellent. So overall, the, the meal was okay, but definitely a little overpriced for for what you're getting. For for me, for me, um, not something I would get again. Uh, I would probably do the barbecue stuff again, just without the sides. You know, if I could do that, I, that's what I would do. But uh, yeah, right here in Pigeon Forge. Right next to uh, the Japanese grill 
and uh, Baskin Robbins. So, uh, would I recommend it? Um, I don't know. So, one other thing that kind of bothered me it was it was a little unclean. There were table. There, it, it was really slow when I came in. There was just one other family, and the uh, table, table, a couple of the tables just sat unclean. And I don't know if that's a staff issue or what, but um, just junk just sat on the table. So uh, I saw some discarded things on the floor. So things just weren't being kept up. So that that was another thing that kind of put me off a little bit. But uh, if you're looking for a quick barbecue this this would be the place if you're looking for the best barbecue in town uh, this isn't it sorry but uh, that'll do it for this video from the great smoky mountains we hope you have a great day god bless